gorgeous weather is going to be taking over over the next seven or so days. Going to be seeing lots of scenes like this. Lots of blue sky to go around, lots of sunshine as well. Temperatures already into the mid to even upper 50s across some of our southern counties. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few folks touch 60 degrees this afternoon. But in general, it's going to be a pretty comfortable day across most of the region after some chillier weather that we dealt with yesterday and a cold night last night. We dropped into the mid to upper 20s. Not going to be anywhere near that tonight. We dropped to about 40 degrees. May want that light jacket as you're headed out to the polls early tomorrow morning. But if you're planning on maybe doing a lunchtime vote or one into the afternoon and evening hours, you are not going to have any excuse to not get out and vote. If anything, just get out and enjoy the awesome weather. Make sure you practice your right to vote here as we head into tomorrow if you haven't already done so. Into the next several days, we're going to continue to see some pretty nice conditions. Lower 70s can be expected into the middle and ending portions of this week. And hey, why not more 70s into the weekend as well with warm and breezy conditions being present pretty much each and every afternoon. With all this warm, dry weather we're going to be dealing with, you'll also want to watch out for the potential of some uh, sporadic fire dangers as we could be talking about the potential of fire spreading pretty quickly, especially in those drier grassland areas. Upper level pattern continues to show that ridge of high pressure dominating our area through Friday and on into the weekend. But you can see this pretty big dip of low pressure that begins to develop across the West Coast. That'll be a big player as we head into early next week. You can see as this energy begins to knock its way on uh, closer towards mid-Missouri. We're on the south side of that main area of low pressure. What this has me concerned for is the potential we could be dealing with a bit of severe weather into early parts of next week. At this point in time, it's really too early to get down the timing or potential impacts, but it certainly has the potential ingredients we could be talking about strong to maybe even severe thunderstorms into early parts of next week. So hopefully we can get through this nice stretch of weather without having any sort of price to pay for it, but certainly a pattern to watch as we head into Monday and Tuesday of next week as we look to start cooling down as we head into that time frame.